YouTube, RC Flyer One here, and uh, I made a review and unboxing uh, of this. Uh, this is the Airhog Sharpshooter. It's a two-channel helicopter. It has a built-in gyro, and it uh, I got it from Target for $34.99 again. And uh, it is a two-channel one, and it's uh, but it has its own forward power if you put the two missiles in because it creates nose heaviness and it will keep the helicopter going forward and uh, this is mostly of a slow flying helicopter because they want you, they want you to have time to be able to uh, aim at your target and shoot it uh, these missiles go about I think five to ten feet I'm not sure but uh, the higher you are the farther they go and uh, there's a lot of fun things you can do, you can do with this helicopter uh, you can shoot, you know, you know, people, trees, or, you know, some stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, this is an infrared uh, helicopter, so you can't fly it outside uh, because it's too windy and the sunlight will cut out the infrared uh, device uh, uh, signal. So, uh, and I found the charging port kind of different, as you can see it right there. It's not one of the standard air hogs charging up uh, things because it has a little uh, hole right there. So uh, plugs in to there, right there. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put it back in here. It's kind of challenging. Okay. So uh, here is going to be the flight video. I'm just going to shoot maybe random things like a pillow or something. So I uh, charged it up and uh, let's let's get to it. Those are two missiles. You turn on that red light. We'll go, uh, uh, turn on. So I'm just going to put it on here. And uh, when you turn it on, a green light's going to go on instead of a red. Because on the Havoc, a uh, red light goes on and when it charges a green light, uh, 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 flashes, but on this one the red light flashes, so this is kind of like reversed. So, uh, here I'm going to back up the camera because it's going to go forward on its own thrust. So, I might hit the camera. Okay. So, here it goes. So, it's very stable in flight, it has a built in gyro, so I really like that. Uh, it's supposed to replicate uh, a Bell Airwolf, and it has a ducted tail fan, but that doesn't work since, again, this is a coaxial helicopter. But it's very stable. I'm going to try to aim for the window and show you how to go. So that was one missile. So now I have one missile left. And I'm starting to fly a little bit slower because there's not uh, as much nose heaviness. But it has plenty of power. Let me show you. Watch. So yeah, it has a lot of power. And uh, so let me try to shoot something again. So it's just pretty far. So uh, the challenging part is landing it on the helipad. I want to try to do that right now. Shoot it out. And it's hard because you can't control the forward or side to side mo motions of this helicopter. It's starting to spin. Okay. This is the hard part. It's easier to land with no missiles in the helicopter just because it's uh, it doesn't have that much nose uh, forward. So there was the landing, kind of challenging, but I got it in a circle. So, uh, yeah, I made that helipad. My mom made it for me. So I uh, give her thanks for that. So here is the pros and cons about this helicopter. One thing I liked about it is that uh, the helicopter, the throttle doesn't, it's, uh, if you put a full throttle, it, 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 the throttle climbs to that. So it doesn't go automatically. I don't know if you know what that means. But uh, I'll make a video or something explaining that. 
but I like the gyro build to it. That's pretty good for $34.99. Uh, you can have some air-to-air -air combat with this thing if you buy two of them. Different channel. Or uh, you can just play fun games with it. Shoot, shoot, uh, I don't know, candles or pictures or something like that. Or the window. So I like that a lot. Uh, so again, it's supposed to replicate a Bell Airwolf. Uh, it's a coaxial helicopter. Fly bar is under the top blade. Uh, I don't see a swash plate there because there is no swash plate. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, there is the on and off switch. Uh, some words there. Uh, I don't know what kind of battery it has. So, but there are the two holes for the missiles. And here, let me show you some of the missiles. Here's one. Here's two. And uh, these are what the missiles look like. Uh, they're just pretty straightforward missiles. Uh, there are nothing nice about them. So uh, you have to make sure the, uh, the key thing is flat. They have that in the uh, instruction manual. And then into any hole, you're just going to slide it in like that, making sure that the key is flat. So uh, that's, uh, I like that, and it locks in, so you can't pull it out, and the only way it comes out is by pressing the fire button on the transmitter. So again, this has enough power to do anything. Uh, the blades are pretty good, but I don't know if they're replaceable, but uh, yeah, they should make replacements for some of these blades, because sometimes you can crash them. And uh, instead of having to buy a new one, you can just purchase some more blades. And I would like that a lot. So uh, this is this is a, a slow-flying helicopter. So you can actually aim for your target instead of flying like jerky all around like the Havoc Heli or Havoc Cruiser or whatever. So I would recommend buying this helicopter. Well, I would uh, greatly recommend buying this. Just because it's so cheap, the performance is great. Uh, it works just like the Reflex, except it's not a three-channel like that. It's only a two-channel, but you know who, you know, this shoots missiles. The Reflex doesn't, and I think the Reflex is uh, retired. So uh, yeah, so it has a little red light there that you can see in the dark, and. Uh, yeah, so I would greatly recommend buying this helicopter. It's just harder to land it because it's a two-channel and it goes forward on its own thrust power. So if you have, you have to come in like a, actually like a plane and try to land it and stop it. And as you could see, it almost tipped over, but then it didn't. So that was kind of lucky. So uh, yeah, that was basically the flight of my Airhawk Sharpshoot that I got for $34.99 at Target. So I uh, check back for more videos. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'd be very happy if you do that. So you can see all the new videos that I put of helicopters and airplanes or other concepts of uh, flying and reviewing them. So this is RC Flyer 1's video and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.